Hundreds of local residents are getting a sneak peek at MLB Network's latest documentary focused on Millville's own Mike Trout. Our Kimberly Kerr spoke with some folks around town about what the Thunderbolt turned angel means to the Holly City. He's a two time MVP, a five time silver slugger, and has made the all star team five times. If you haven't guessed yet, clearly I'm talking about everyone's favorite baseball player here in Millville, Mike Trout. And tonight the seats here at the Levoy Theater will be filled as everyone watches the story of their hometown MVP on the big screen. I like that at least that people get to see where this young man came from, what he represents in this city, what the people within this city think about him, uh, and what he has done for us so far. The MLB Network documentary Mike Trout Millville to MVP airs this Sunday at 8 p.m. It follows Trout around the city, taking a look at his favorite barbershop, his high school, and his favorite place to grab a bite to eat, Jim's Lunch. He used to order hamburgers. Uh, if he were here today, I'm sure he would order two doubles just with sauce, two double cheese. On the baseball diamond, he's hitting homers and robbing others of them. But back home in Millville, he's just a regular guy. He comes home to where his roots are at, and he's just a regular Mike Trout, you know, that goes to Jim's Lunch, uh, that drives around, takes his buddies out hunting. Money and fame has not changed him. Um, L.A., you know, it changes a lot of people, but his fame, he's still the same old Mike when he comes in here. He's still humble. He still wears the camo or the Nike, and he's just the same old Mike. The mayor of the city says Trout's journey is an inspiration for Millville. Mike Trout definitely moved forward from Little League to Babe Ruth to high school to Major League Baseball. This city can do the same. And no matter how many awards Mike Trout collects in the major leagues, one thing's for certain. In Millville, he will always be their MVP. I'm Kimberly Carr for SNJ Today.